Buffalo grass is a native grass that have adapted and evolved on the high plains of Kansas and Nebraska over many years. And it thrives on the western plains of Kansas and Nebraska. Buffalo grass is a warm season perennial grass. That means it turns green around in May time frame, depending on where you are in the state. It'll be a little earlier, a little later. And it'll grow well over the summertime. And then it'll turn brown and go dormant over the wintertime and, and take a rest over the wintertime. It does well under drought conditions. And that's one reason why it thrives in the western plains of Kansas. Buffalo grass tends to have an open growth habit in that it's not as dense and knit tight forming as Bermuda grass or zoysia grass or even tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass. And so it has a more, that open growth habit can allow more weed seeds to germinate in the buffalo grass stand and contaminate the buffalo grass stand. So in the western plains of the western half of Kansas, the buffalo grass does real well because they don't get as much rainfall as the eastern half of Kansas. The eastern half of Kansas receives more rainfall and that allows more weed seeds to germinate and that can more easily contaminate our buffalo grass stand. Weed control and buffalo grass stand would involve several things. First thing would be to apply some pre-emergent herbicide in the springtime, which would be just like what you'd put down on any other lawn grass, and you'd apply it at the same time. The problem is that most of your step one programs of these crabgrass preventers that you apply in March or April usually contain a fertilizer. And in March and April, the buffalo grass is not growing and we don't need to apply any fertilizer down at that time. So if you have a buffalo grass lawn and you're looking to control crabgrass and other annual grassy weeds with a crabgrass preventer in March and April, then you want to seek out and purchase crabgrass preventers that don't contain fertilizer. Other weeds that can get into your buffalo grass lawn are going to be your common broadleaf weeds like dandelion and oxalis and clover. And, and many of those weeds can be controlled with three-way herbicides or sometimes weed and feed fertilizers. The ones that are going to contain 2,4-D or MCPP. Uh, or dicamba. The key important part is to read the label, find out how you're supposed to use that product, and buy and use the correct amount that's for your size of yard. Buffalo grass can be injured by these broadleaf herbicides, especially when the temperature gets above 85 degrees. So it's best to control your broadleafs in the spring or the early fall rather than the heat of the summer. Another common weed in buffalo grass is henbit. Uh, because of that open growth habit, henbit is a winter annual and it germinates in the fall and then it grows over the winter time. And this is the weed that sets off in the purple flowers in the early springtime. So to control henbit, you can do one of two things. You can apply a pre-emergent herbicide to your buffalo grass lawn in September to prevent that henbit from germinating. Or you can apply a broadleaf herbicide in late September, early October to kill those young henbit seedlings. The only downside about trying to apply a pre-emergent herbicide to your buffalo grass lawn in September is that most stores don't carry pre-emergent herbicide in September. You have to plan ahead and purchase that product early in the springtime to be prepared for September. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.